In the previous video lesson, we learned the two different fundamental principles of counting. Uh, the first one we learned the fundamental principle of multiplication and the second one was the fundamental principle of addition. Based on that, we're going to solve this question and this will clear if there is any remaining doubts, th these all will be get cleared here. And then so that we can start uh, the competition and competition learning. The question is here, there are five candidates for a physics, a physics, and three for a biology and four for a chemistry science scholarship. Right. It means there are three scholarships. One is given in physics, one is given in biology, and another is given in chemistry section. How many ways of these scholarship be awarded? So there are total how many ways uh, we can award these all three scholarships. All right, and how many ways one of these scholarship means one scholarship we're going to award. Okay, so let's first deal with the first one. How many ways can be these scholarship? These means three scholarship be awarded. Okay, so see here five candidates for physics. So we can simply say that there are five ways to award for physics uh, award, all right? There are five ways to award a physics award. Similarly, if you see further, the question is saying us three candidates are there for a biology award. So you can say easily that there are three ways to award a biology award. Exactly in the similar way, there are four candidates for a chemistry award. So there are four candidates. It means four ways to award a chemistry award. So therefore, we can say that the total ways to award three scholarships is, you know, uh, physics can be given in five ways. Similarly, biology can be given in three ways and chemistry can be given in four ways. So five times three, 15, 15 times four, that is 60 ways. All right. So there are 60 ways of awarding these uh, three scholarship, one for physics, one for biology, one for chemistry. And this is, you know, exactly based on the concept of fundamental principle of multiplication. You know, we're going to award here three scholarship, one physics scholarship, another biology scholarship. I have written here award uh, as, as a scholarship. Okay. And one chemistry award. It means there are three different scholarships and we're going to give this scholarship uh, to five candidates of physics, three candidates of biology and four candidates of chemistry. So the total method, the total ways of awarding these three scholarships will be 60, 5, 3 and 4, all right? You can even understand this in this way, you know, uh, there is one scholarship for physics, there is another scholarship for the biology and there is another one scholarship for the chemistry. So now tell me in how many ways you can select one candidate for the physics? As you know that there are five candidates for the physics, so any one of the five will be the winner for the scholarship, for the physics scholarship. Similarly, there are three candidates for the biology scholarship so anyone can be the winner out of these three similarly there are there are four candidates for the uh, chemistry uh, scholarship and anyone can be of uh, can be the winner for that uh, scholarship so altogether if you see the winners you know altogether if you see the selection the way of selecting winners is five times three times four it means 60 methods there are 60 ways of selecting winners for those three scholarships you know simple and now let's go to the second question how many ways of one of this scholarship? This time, you know, we don't have three scholarships. We have one scholarship. That scholarship may go to the physics, may go to the biology, may go to the chemistry, any one of them. So if the scholarship donor uh, committee or the, I mean, I mean the team who is going to provide these all scholarship, right? Th that union or that administration who is going to provide these all scholarship decides that the scholarship will be given to the physics category. All right. They may decide, no, 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 scholarship will be given to the biology category. They may decide that, no, 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 scholarship will be given to the chemistry category. So if the board committee is deciding that uh, we are going to award this one scholarship to the physics category, then there are five possible candidates. And if they're deciding for the biology, there are three candidates. And if they're uh, deciding, no, 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 we are not going to give physics, we're not going to give biology, we're going to give uh, a candidate from chemistry. All right. So it can be anything. So if they are deciding uh, to give one scholarship to a physics team, then there will be five. And if they are deciding no to biology, then there will be three possibilities. And if they are deciding to give chemistry, then uh, out of four, any one guy will be the lucky one. So altogether, how many possible lucky guys are there? Five plus three plus four. It means five plus three, eight, eight plus uh, four, 12. So there are 12 winners, uh, uh, lucky, possible lucky winners. But one will be one of them, all right? So out of 12, one will be awarded, all right? That the one may be of chemistry, that may be of biology, that may be of physics. But there are total candidates, 12. 
and out of those total 12 candidates one will be awarded uh, the scholarship maybe that may be a physics scholarship maybe a biology scholarship or maybe a chemistry scholarship all right so this is what uh, it is saying how many ways one of these scholarship can be awarded so there are 12 ways one of these scholarship can be awarded i hope you understand this uh, question and if there is any confusion or doubt you need to ask about this then please feel free to comment below this video at a study you may feel a little difficult you may not understand at the first attempt uh, so just keep on watching the different different example that i'm going to solve and after two three examples i'm sure you will understand the basic fundamental concept hidden behind this all right so i'll see you guys into the next example till the time please subscribe the channel and hit the like button to this video i'll be very very happy bye bye